Hello, my pouring friends, and thank you for joining me. This is a diptych um, Dutch pour that I did quite a while ago. I have a video up of how I did that. It's on two 25 by 50 centimeter canvases, and there's a lot of movement in this painting, but I wanted to enhance that movement with a gold border. So I'm going to show you in a tutorial how I um, how I add that border to this uh, Dutch board diptych. So I'm using a 50 centimeter um, ruler as well as a pencil. And um, I first measured off the width that I wanted, the space around the gold border. So I've left about 10 centimeters um, on each, on either side of the um, of the Dutch ball and I drew with the ruler I ruled or I lined or I drew <laughs> a square um, with the 10 centimeter borders on the outside of the square and I use that as my guide for the uh, for when I'm applying the gold the gold leaf so um, I use paint brushes um, and um, those are my tools for for the process I've got two angled brushes which I love to use for this um, for this embellishment I only use one but I keep another one handy and I use a flat paint brush as well this is the gold foil it's liquid gold foil that I purchased at my uh, craft store uh, P&A Canal Walk it's a liquid um, gold foil and it's a it's a very tiny tub it's about 20 milliliters you do get it in silver as well so I'm going to use the angled brush first and I'm going to add the gold leaf border on the outside of the square that I drew with a pencil so um, not on the inside I'm going to apply the gold leaf on the outer edge and you'll notice that I'm keeping the tip, the one side of the angled brush, I'm keeping against the line. So I'm using the pencil line as my guide and my um, gold leaf is the width, the complete width of the brush. So as I'm applying it, the brush is totally flat against the canvas. So I get a nice, um, just over a centimeter width uh, using that flat brush. Um, it's a Pro Art Speciality uh, number six angled brush. I think it's a half inch um, if you need the measurements in inches. So I'm giving you some close-up shots just to show you um, how I add the gold leaf. It's very simple. It's just a brush stroke. And um, you can do layers of the gold foil. It dries very, very, very fast. So I'm following the outer edge of the pencil line. And I'm also keeping my eye on the design as well because you want to give the illusion that the Dutch ball is flowing over the lines or over the gold border and at some edges the Dutch ball is flowing underneath the gold border. So if I want it to look like it's flowing underneath the gold border then I would paint straight over the Dutch ball. Um, but if I want the border to look as though it is um, going under the Dutch ball then I would leave that part of where I'm, sh I'm showing it to you now I would leave that space but I would angle my edges it's not a straight edge it's an angled edge so the angle brush helps me to do that quite nicely so I, uh, I apply the gold leaf in thin layers as I mentioned, it does dry very, very fast. So there's no extra waiting time. You can, you can do a layer upon a layer. 
um, sometimes if you've used very strong colors in your in your painting it does come through so you're going to need to add a few layers I've only done uh, two or three so I'm going back once you step back you look at your border and you you can touch up some of the edges now once I've applied all the gold foil the liquid gold gold foil I use a gold metallic marker to straighten or to neaten the edges because those edges are they're not entirely straight um, but they're also not completely skew but they do have some jagged um, parts and the gold marker I then um, take my ruler once again and I um, rule a straight um, a straight edge uh, uh, on the on the outer edges of the gold foil as you can see me doing in the in the shot here the gold, I'm giving you a close-up so you can see exactly how I rule the lines with a gold marker I do it on the outer edges and as well as the inner edges um, that just you know finishes off the gold foil um, once I've done I'm done with the ruler and I've marked off the edges I then take my flat brush and I fill in the um, I fill in with the gold foil again with the liquid gold foil and I do that because once I've marked off the edges some parts of the gold foil um, need some filling in you know there's some gaps and some lighter areas and so you need to fill that in again now this time you use very very little gold foil so i'm literally just dipping the tip of my flat brush into the liquid and i am touching up the edges where um, some of the the dutch pour um, paints are still showing through i'm just going over that with the flat brush just to neaten it up a little bit more and um, as I mentioned it dries very quickly so um, you can go over and over and it won't pull that paint the paint that's already on the the canvas it won't pull it off so now that my border is complete and I'm happy with it let me give you a close-up view um, it's it it is absolutely amazing what this borders these gold borders on your dutch ball does to your painting it brings that painting completely to life it is so stunning the transformation um a, a beautiful painting that is now enhanced and where you still have pencil lines all you need to do is take a little bit of nail polish remover on a cotton ball and um, and you just wipe it clean and it comes right off so i hope that i've inspired you to liven up your dutch balls thank you for watching everyone until the next video bye for now